Good evening, everyone. This is Hob. This is Cheese. And as usual, we are playing Space Engineers. Hello. Uh, hello. So, Let's get going. tonight we are working on correcting some storage difficulties and fighting over the door, apparently. Helmet on. Door open. Most excellent. Freedom! It smells in there. So if you want to come, if you want to come up here real quick, cheese. Oh, do we? Oh my goodness! Yeah, that's right. I never even looked at this yet. Yeah, <laughs> you should actually sit in this this time, and it it won't kill you. Well, I at least I don't think it will. I'm gonna <laughs> I, I'm gonna go stand. Will it destroy the manufactory again. I I don't know. I'm gonna go stand over here just in case. Hey. But uh, hey. if you take a if you take a look down here. Over on your right there, look at all the ore that we've got processing at the moment. My goodness. And then our actual ingot storage. Component storage still doesn't have a whole lot of stuff in it because we haven't been processing, but looking up above, yeah, you can see you can see that Freya... Oops, I, I might have just killed myself. Oh, apparently not. I'm also invulnerable. Nice. I like being invulnerable. Oh, uh, you're still God? Apparently. Um, <laughs> helmet off. Best no, way. no, I have the helmet on. Going okay. for the realism today. Safety first. Yeah, that's right, safety first. Um, so as you can see, Freya's stats are running up above here. And we've got uh, yeah, we've got 85% oxygen Freya, stores. Live this time. Yeah, hail Freya. She is allowed survival. Um, and one of the nice things is, is if you look on here, I see that, that line on the ore overview that says I see, that's how much ice we have in store. Oh my goodness. So well, hopefully it lasts more than a week this time. I was a, I was a busy little offline beaver. Um, and then I have one more thing to show you if you want to, okay. if you want to jump out of here and join me Beautiful on the little fly. <laughs> I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. I'm going out the back way here. Hope. So, while I was out mining and digging about, I happened upon an opportunity no. to grab a ship. No. And I did. Oh, you surprised me. It is fully and completely oh, taken God. over. I haven't actually taken a look at what's inside of it. All I did was capture the damn thing and make sure that everything was owned. <sighs> look at that. And then brought it back. Well, how'd, you best the, uh, how'd you best the little Gatling gun? Interestingly enough, this ship has no Gatling gun on the bottom, and that's where both the reactors are. Hey. Well, that's so I, I flew in, and I happened to, to catch right here where this reactor is, and I ground it down, and then I was like, hey, where's the other one? Oh, look, it's over here. And I ground that one down, and... I and two nice panels for defense. And shut them both off. We will correct this issue in the future. And I thought we could use that as a, uh, as a base for building something else. Maybe catch another one, see if we can capture another one, and, and uh, fuse them together along the... Yeah. Ooh. Well, that's that's a couple of legs. It's a bit jittery. I was I was uh, attempting to get in there, but I don't think I want to try that. Oh, is it jittery on yours? Our it's, ship's got the jitters. Yeah, yeah, it's probably because I have it parked with a landing gear. So I hear there are things to fear. Yeah, landing gears can be fearsome sometimes. Uh, yeah. Okay, one's green, and yep. one's complete black. Yeah. Yeah, no, the yes, this is beautiful. parked with the landing gear, so that that was my, uh, I was like, oh, hey, that's close enough, I can catch it, I'm going to go grab it, and so I did. And I was successful, without dying, even. I am I kind of like the idea of an alien-looking spaceship design, manta ray, almost, like a long, mm -hmm. flat design. That could be fun. That could what be a lot of fun. Think? That nah, could definitely be a lot of fun. I this could dig one, that. that. Yeah, I'm thinking this could be like the base of a tail, like the start of that. Yeah. It's already got some thrusters and good spots for it. 
Yeah. Make a valid point. Could be a lot of fun. We can work on that. Uh, okay. We can work on that. Long-term vision. Long -term yes. Long-term mission. Long -term mission. All right. So today I think we're going to focus on this storage loop problem that we have. And I think I know how to fix it. <laughs> I think I know how to fix it. Um, and actually, it really comes down to this spot right here. In the back. Cool. I don't know if you're with me or not. I had some, not quite yet. I oh. lost. I got some chop issues. You got some chop. But I'm coming in. Got, got some chop. Whee. Right, so, what I'm thinking is instead of running all of the ore through here like we have been what I'll do is I'll take an all I'll pipe off of here all of the ore will pull into the ore storage and then I'll set up uh, we can set up a couple of sorters that are uh, one that's set to pull only the stuff for the refinery and then we'll set up a separate tube that goes to the arc furnaces that pulls the stuff to the arc furnaces. That would be nice. And then they'll all that feed... That way we don't have to worry about... Yeah. Yeah, and then they'll all feed back to the ingot storage location, which I think is this one, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this is, this is our materials storage. For ingots and whatnot so they'll feed back into here and then we'll have a pipe off of here that will feed the assemblers and then the assemblers will feed back into uh into the component storage and then we'll take a pipe off of the top of each of these the component and the ingot storage and pipe them over towards the um towards where the reactor is and where the med bay is that way we can access all of them from anywhere. That way we can access all right. of them from anywhere. And we'll set those up so yeah. that they we'll set that up so it's a one way pull so we don't end up with an accidental loop. Mm. Those things sure can't be frustrating. Alright, so let's see, what do we got in here? This is a mishmash of crap. Crunching on some, uh, oh, actually, I don't think we'll need any sorters. We have plenty, right? Uh, yeah, I think we do. I think we do. Alright, so, I'm gonna turn the refineries off. Right, you. We're just gonna take these pipes out, right? Yep, we're just gonna take this, this set of pipes, these three right here, out. It's all running from the storages into the assemblers now. Alright, so I need to go into the control panel and find the refinery sorter. And we need to change this to remove. And we need it to do... Okay, so cobalt, iron, and, uh, and nickel are arc furnace, right? Yes. Okay. That's all we should need in there. Yep, just those three. Cobalt, nickel, iron. Get this out of the way. Oh, I forgot that they added organic material. I don't have any idea how that's processed. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. Uh, where's my 
I'm running, that's why. <laughs> so I saw this interesting study on uh, Godwin's Law. They were looking at the effectiveness of it, and as it became more known about, mm -hmm. it became less common. The prevalence of Godwin's Law has gone down over time. What is what is Godwin's law? That's the uh, I think it's a, it's kind of a joke rule, but it's uh, you probably heard it in some way or another. Basically, any online discussion will eventually devolve to a comparison to Hitler or Nazis in one way or another. Huh. Okay. It came back around in the Usenet days, uh, but uh, but a guy around some some Usenet stuff, I guess. But uh, and he noticed it, so he kind of coined it. And it, it's it's really kind of stuck around on places like Reddit and YouTube and shit like that. But uh, every time it gets invoked, more people kind of know about it, and less supposedly, according to study, says statistics. Okay, so now we need. Okay, so I need. You took one of my conveyor tubes that I actually need. Oh, I saw bus. That's okay. Actually, you took several yeah, of my conveyor tubes. Place. So we, we need this tube to go back into here, like it was. I, was so what it, put, I thought we needed a sorter in here. Oh no, there's a, there's a sorter there already. See, conveyor oh, sorter. Oh, that's a sorter. God damn yeah, it. Yeah, that is a conveyor I, sorter. I thought that was just a conveyor. Nope. Nope, nope. I already had the conveyor sorter there. See how I am? Toolbar anywhere. I do nine. I got one. Oh, but I need interior plates. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm getting tickle in my throat. Okay, so that conveyor sorter. Okay. So, we gotta make sure that that is pointing out. Out? Wrong way. Yeah, we need the arrow pointing out on this one. Uh-oh. My O2 is awfully low. Oh, I forgot to pick up my, uh, my oxygen bottles again. Where are my there oxygen bottles? Whew! That was close. Danger. Uh, do you got uh, small steel tubes and some computers? I don't, but I can make that happen. How many? 20 computers, and I forget the small steel tubes because I was on my way just to grab a few. Oh, I'll grab some more small steel tubes and some more computers. Where am I? Ah! I got lost for a second. Got it. 
Alright, so now I need to configure this one. Uh, should we just get a uh, conveyor right here? Like a conveyor bus? Um, so, no, actually, what we need is we need a tube, a conveyor tube, that goes over to the ingot storage container right here. Bingo. So, if that makes sense, killing sure the smalls. Does. Killing me smalls, mostly because I'm like having issues. <laughs> All right, so we got refinery sorter. And we just got to change the name to output. And this is just ingots. And actually, we don't even need to whitelist anything on that, because everything that comes out of here should be ingots. And then, so we want this to go right there. That's where you're going, right? Right. Cool. There it is. I got mixed up for a sec there. I was all upside down. That's cool. And I ran out of stuff. Boop. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't think I have enough for what I replaced. Alright, what do we need? Uh, small steel tubes, motors, bullet proof glass, and construction components. Jesus. Four piece per so that's eh, a lot of math. Want me to read those off again? Yeah. How many of each? Bulletproof glass. Uh, well, there's four in a tube. Let's see, let me count first. So ten. Say that again. Cheat, cheese, I can't hear you. Four bulletproof glass. Thirty-six. Oh wait, no connection to server. Oh no, panic. Don't, don't, don't die. Okay. Don't die. Twenty-four. Hey, okay. I think my internet had a weird bouncy bounce. Yeah, I think so too, because my ping is good over here. Yeah, no, I lost connection to uh, Ventrilo and everything. No, I don't know. I almost lost connection to the server. Everything's good, though? You're stable? I'm coming back from Alt-Tab. We will see. Okay. Oop, running low on energy. Shit. 24 bulletproof glass. Do, do, do. do we have chairs nearby? Uh, they're out along the, uh, the what you call it. I should be able to make that. Construction components is where we're really going to eat it. Yes, we're going to need a bunch of those as well. Alright, well, I got everything. 40 hip hop. Yeah, I got pretty much everything but the uh, construction components placed. I will get some of those if I can beat you. But I don't think I will. I don't think my <laughs> tanks are full. 